good morning it's a glorious day that the lord has made let us pray father we thank you for your grace this morning thank you for your love your kindness and you kept us your children alive this morning the devil came you fought for us thank you father lord even as we are exalted shortly this morning bless this word in our heart in jesus name Amen. Thank you, Father. This morning, I want to look at a topic titled The Answer to Worry. Our text is Psalm 89, verse 9. Thou rulest the region of the sea. When the wave thereof arise, thou stillest them. Worry. Vince Abner said, It's like sitting in a rocking chair. It will give you something to do, but it won't get you anywhere. Worry and anxiety has holded the human race since the beginning of time. A modern man with all his innovation has not found the cure for the plague of worry. Physicians tell us that 70% of all illness are imaginary. The cause being mental distress or worry. In reading hundreds of letters from people with spiritual problems, I am convinced that high on the list is the plague you of worry. It has been listed by the heart specialist as a number one cause of heart problem. Psychiatrists tell us that worry breeds nervous breakdown and mental disorder. Worry is more apted, apted than father's time in etching deep lines into the face. It is disastrous to hurt rough life of its zests, crowd out constructive, creative thinking, and cripple the soul. When Sir Water really was bothering with a huge depth, his doctor said to him, One day, Sir Water, if you don't stop worrying, you will die. He looked up sadly and said, I can't help worrying as long as the death is over my head. It may kill me, but you might as well tell my cook to order the water in the kento, not to boil, as to command my brain not to worry. What is the answer? The hymn writer Edward Harry Picasset hinted at it when he wrote peace perfect peace in the dark world of sin the blood of jesus whispered peace within the sea was beating against the rock in huge dashing wave the lightning was flashing the thunder was roaring the wind was blowing but the little bird was asleep in the cribs of the rock it has been serenely under its wings, sound asleep. This that is peace to be able to sleep in the storm. In Christ, we are alas at peace in the midst of confusion, bewilderment, and perplexity of this life. The storm rage, but our heart has rest. We have found peace because we have learned to trust our living God. That is his word. Learning to live and trust in him bring a path solution. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, I rest in you and I rest, take shelter from the stress and frustration of my life. Bless me, Father, with your constant peace of mind and calmness of soul. Without you, I will surely be overwhelmed by life. 
but with you i am safe i am at peace i can rest thank you through your son jesus amen i pray the lord bless us by the grace of god i remember humble self to show us up one tell me tomorrow for another exhortation stay blessed